<laughs> Hello and welcome. I'm Nicole from Flow Into Nature. This is the third class in the self-care series. Today we're going to be finding stillness and really filling our breath and our body with love. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started in child's pose. Bring your knees out wide, your big toes to touch, and reach your arms forward, bringing your forehead to the mouth. We'll start by taking three big breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Feel your belly expand. Big exhale, letting it out through the mouth. Oh, wow. I love to take big sighs because it just lets me release everything in my body. Inhale. Big exhale. Wow. One more, just like that. Big inhale through the nose. Big exhale, let it all go. <sighs> just begin to notice how you feel today. And your body feels any areas of tightness. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the shoulders or the hips. Noticing your ankles and your knees and your belly. Maybe any parts of your body feel really open and good today. And noticing your mind. Are there any thoughts that are lingering that you can just let go of for this class and be here now? We begin to find stillness to this posture. Oh. And you press your hands into the mat and shake your hips towards your heels. Taking a big inhale through the nose. Big exhale through the nose. Pulling your belly button to your spine. Releasing all of the air. Another big breath here. On your next inhale, can you reach your arms forward a little bit more, finding more length in your spine? Reaching your elbows up off the mat. And on your exhale, sinking your hips closer towards your heels. And next to this. And one more breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. And Now we're going to reach our arms towards the right side of the mat. Maybe even your right hand might come off of the mat. And just really sink your left heel or your left hip closer towards your left heel. Finding a nice stretch on the left side of the body. Inhale, slow up. Really breathing into that left side body. Exhale, sink your hip down. I'm going to take two more breaths on this side. On your next inhale, we'll come back to center just for a moment. And then bring your arms over towards the left. Your left hand might come off of the mat. Reaching your right arm over and sinking your right hip towards your right heel. Big inhale, fill all the way up. Feel that right body stretching, reaching with the right arm. 
Exhale, sinking your hips down. Two more breaths here. On your next inhale, we'll come back to center and come up onto your hands and your hips for a neutral tabletop. Bring your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees, preparing for cat and cow. Inhale, cow pose. Lift your sit bones up as you drop your belly down and look forward. Exhale, cat. Round the spine, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, cow, drop your belly, reach your heart forward. Exhale, cat, press into your palms and reach your heart through your shoulder blades. A couple more on your own, inhaling for the cows. Exhaling for the cat. Welcome back to our neutral. Inhale, cow pose, drop your belly. This time we're really going to focus on reaching our hips up towards the sky. As we reach our arms forward, preparing for puppy pose. Going to reach the arms forward, bring your forehead to the mouth, and then reach your armpits towards the ground. This is a nice supported back bend. So we're really opening up into the front body here. Finding stillness, try not to move too much. Go again, hello. Then with exhale, can you reach your armpits a little bit closer towards the mat? If you have a flexible spine, you can go ahead and reach your chin onto the earth. Relax your forehead. And take two more breaths here. Trying to find stillness. Stillness in the body and stillness in the mind. Any thoughts that come up, if you can just... Gently let them go and come back to your breath. Inhale. Exhale through the nose. Wonderful. We're going to bring our hands underneath the shoulders, coming back up to tabletop. And then we're just going to come onto our bellies. Bring your big toes to touch and reach your arms out wide like a big toe. Out to the side, we're going to open up into the shoulder zone. So if you'd like to, you can just begin to bring your left leg up and twist it over towards the right. You can bring your left hand in underneath your shoulder for support. If you need a little bit more stretch here, you can bend into that left knee, opening up a little bit deeper. And if you still need more, you can begin to bend into the right. If you have very flexible shoulders, you may also take that last hand and reach it up and over. Coming into a bind. Pointing stillness wherever you are. We're going to take three big breaths here. Your gaze is on the mat, maybe shrink to in front of your nose. Good. 
stand out through the nose. Exhale the slight constriction in your throat. Breathe it out through your nose. Nice and slow. Coming out the way we came in. If you're in the bind, first we'll bring the left hand underneath the shoulder. Straighten the right leg. Straighten the left leg. And then bring both hips back onto the mat. Tee out your arms and go ahead and give your hips a nice gentle wiggle. When you're ready, we'll come on to the other side. On the side, we'll first bring our right hand underneath the shoulder. And then we'll twist open, bringing the right leg towards the left. Notice how it feels. If you want to go a little deeper, you can go ahead and bend into that right leg. Mm -hmm. Take a second to see how it feels. Taking a breath. You can stay here or you can bend into that left leg. Really opening into the shoulder. Depending on how open your shoulders are, you might even come in for a bite or interlace your hands behind your back. Now we'll take three big breaths here. Inhale. Nice slow exhale through the nose. Two more just like that. On your next inhale, we'll begin to come out of this. So straightening into the left leg and straightening into the right leg, bringing your right hand underneath your right shoulder and gently rolling back onto your belly, straightening both legs and shaking out the hips. Wonderful. Bring both of your hands underneath your shoulders. Press your big toes into the mat. We're preparing for cobra. Pull up on your knees to fully engage your legs. So, and also press your big toe into the mat. It, take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, begin to lift your head and your heart towards the sky. Press your palms into the mat and pull them back towards you as you reach your heart forward. We'll stay for three, two, and one. Go ahead and release your right ear to the mat. Bring your palms by your side. Face up. Cleansing. See if you can find stillness, even in this resting possible. I bet they might. We're going to take one more round of pull breaths to bring your shoulders and your hands underneath your shoulders. Press into your big toes. Nice big inhale. On the exhale, begin to lift your heart. Looking straight forward, pull your shoulder blades together behind you and breathe in for three, two, and one. Release, bringing the left ear to the mat. Palms by your side, face up, and release. Two cleansing breaths. And just become aware of your thoughts. Can you bring them back to your breath? If they've drifted. Bring your palms underneath your shoulders. And we'll go ahead and lift up and back, coming into a down dog. You can come on to your knees and then reach your hips up and back. Press both hands evenly into the mat. 
And see if you can find stillness here already. You can bend into your knees as much as you need to. Reach your sit bones up towards the sky. Nice big inhale, feeling the belly expand. Same exhale, pull your belly button to your spine. And moving all the air from your lungs. And inhale. Slow exhale. Press into your palms, reach your sit bones up a little bit higher. And begin to reach your heels towards the earth. Two more breaths here. Finding the length in your back, in your side, and in your hamstrings. Look back at your knees. Inhale. Exhale, can you sink your heart towards your knees a little bit more? Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk forward to the top of the mat. You can bend into the knees as much as you need to. And grab opposite shoulders. Opposite elbows. Coming into a rag doll forward fold. Bring all your weight forward into your toes, letting your neck and your heavy and your head hang heavy. You'd like to can rock side to side, playing with the weight on your feet between the right and the left, noticing how it feels. Now we'll begin to ease into stillness. Take a nice big inhale. Take a slow exhale. One more just like that. Big inhale, fill up with love. Exhale, let it go. Bring your hands to the mat, bring your toes to touch, bend into the knees and gently roll up one vertebrae at a time. Once you come to the top, we'll go ahead and stand and shoot into Dasana Mountain Pose. Close down your eyes, find your belt. Bring your weight into your heels. Pull up on your knees to engage your legs. Gently tuck your tailbone. Pull your shoulder blades towards each other. Standing up tall. Reach your head up towards the sky. And bring your palms open by your side. We're going to take five breaths here. Inhale, fill your belly expand. Exhale, pull your belly button to your spine. Big inhale through the nose. Big exhale, let it go. Okay, three more breaths on your own. Noticing the urge to fidget or the urge to move. Can you find stillness here? Mm -hmm. 
Noticing your breath, becoming aware. It's still controlled. One last breath, inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands to heart center. And we'll take a moment to set an intention for class today. How do you want to feel by the end of class? How do you want to feel today? I offer that to be your intention. And if you would like, you can have the intention of stillness. Stillness in the body, stillness in the mind. Breathing in kindness and love to that stillness. Inhale. Solidify your intention. Exhale, let it go. Link open your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up toward the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, reaching all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching all the way up. This time we're going to take just a nice gentle back bend. Weight is in your heels, pull up on the knees, and begin to reach your heart up. Your gaze will begin to look back. Standing back up top. Exhale, shoulders forward. You can bend into the knees as much as you need. Inhale, halfway lift. Inhale, you can come into your thighs or your shin. Pull your shoulder blades back. Look straight down in front of you. Engage your core. Inhale, finding a length in your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift once again. Straighten your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Plank pose. Shoulders are over your wrists. And really pull your um, hands towards each other to fully engage here. Squeeze everything in towards the center. Come on to the tips of your toes if you can, really reaching forward. Gently tuck your tailbone. And we're going to take just a couple of breaths here. You're so strong, but if you need to, you can always come onto your knees for a little bit of extra support. Notice if your mind is talking to you. Is it being kind? Are you saying things like, wow, I'm so strong. I've got this. I'm great. How you talk to yourself is really important. You are wonderful. You are great. I am strong. <laughs> I am kind. I am loving. I am enough. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, bend into the elbows. Pull your elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Reach your heart forward. Really press your palms into the mat. Press your big toes into the earth. And reach your heart forward. Nice big inhale. And on the exhale, tuck your chin. Reach your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. We'll take two breaths here. Let's see if you can find stillness once again. Inhale through the nose. Big exhale, let it go through your mouth. I have one more breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. He has heart eyes towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching all the way up. This time we'll take that nice gentle back bend. So once again, weight in your heels, pull up on the knees, reaching all the way up. 
and begin to let your gaze fall backwards. Hands following the gaze. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Finding a straight spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your feet back, coming back to that plank. Shoulders are over the wrists. Squeeze everything in towards the center. You're so strong. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Bend into the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. Reach your heart up and forward. Exhale, peck the chin. Downward facing dog. Two breaths here. On your next inhale, look forward. And exhale, bring your right knee to the outside of your right foot. <laughs> your right foot to the outside of your right hand for runner's lunge. You can set your left knee onto the mat. We're going to be breathing into that left hip, opening up. Well, you might feel on the right. I don't know. You can feel this anywhere, really. Maybe noticing where you feel it. Noticing any areas of tightness and sending your air, your oxygen, your breath to that space. Breathe it in. Breathe in love. Breathe in kindness. On your exhale, send it all through your body. Yeah. If you'd like to, you can always come down onto your elbows, depending on how open you feel. And you can always come onto the knife edge of your foot to get more of an external rotation. And drop your head if you would like to. Some days I like to just relax into this, other days I like to reach my heart forward and make it a little bit more active. Notice what your body needs today. And we're going to take one more breath here. Nice big inhale, filling it all up. Fill your whole body with love. And exhale, send the love through your body. Beautiful. If you're on your forearms, go ahead and come on to your hands. Tuck your back toes. We're going to bring that left foot up and in. And the right foot's going to come back to center, coming into a pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, reach your heart forward. Maybe bring your forehead to your knee. You can bend into the knee as much as you need to. If you need blocks here, that's totally okay, or something to help bring the ground a little bit closer. Two little more breaths here. I'll inhale together. Slow exhale. One more breath. Wonderful. Plant your hands into the mat. Step your feet back, downward facing dog. We'll take three breaths here. Once again, see if you can find stillness. Fight that urge to move around and fidget. 
I know it's kind of hard, but see if you can focus. Focus on your breath. Focus on your body. I think stillness. How does it feel? Nice big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. One more breath here. Can you reach your sit bones a little higher towards the sky? Inhale, look forward. We're going to bring the left foot to the outside of the left hand this time. Then in place that right knee onto the mat. Coming into your runner's lunge. First, get comfortable. Maybe it will be on your hands or on your elbows, depending how you feel. I'm a little bit tight today, so I'm on my hands. We notice some days are different than others, and that's okay. If you'd like to, you can come on to the knife edge of your Getting a little bit more external rotation here. Inhale through the nose, breathing in kindness. Exhale, spreading it through your body. Yeah. One more breath here. If you're on your forearms, go ahead and come back onto your palms. We're going to tuck the back toes, step that back foot in, and then toe heel your left foot to the center of the mat. Inhale, find your flat spine. Exhale, reach your forehead forward. Maybe bringing up to your knee. Again, if you need blocks, they can help to bring the ground a little bit closer. Might make it a little bit easier to stretch into both. See if you can find stillness. Maybe pulling your left hip back and your right hip forward, squaring your hips. Two more breaths here. Release break, inhale, spin the nose. Slow exhale through the nose. On the mic chanel, bring both feet back, downward facing dog. Just two breaths here this time. Pressing into your palms, finding the length in your spine as you reach your sit bones up and back. Again, you can bend into the knees as much as you need to here. Nice big inhale. Big exhale, sigh it out. Oh, no. 
inhale see if maybe you can straighten your legs a little bit more exhale sinking your heels towards the earth inhale reach your right leg high exhale bend into the knee pull your foot towards your glutes And inhale, bring your right knee to your right wrist, coming into a pigeon pose. Set your um, shin onto the mat and extend your left leg long. Coming into pigeon. First, we will find an active pigeon. Let's first make sure that we are set up okay. So check on your back foot. Make sure your toes are right behind you. We don't want any signal. So straighten up that back leg. And then for your right foot, make sure your foot is flexed to protect your knee. And if you have a big space underneath your hips, you can always grab a block and place it underneath to find more balance. And try standing. Reaching your heart up high, looking forward, becoming a proud pigeon. Maybe we smile here. And on the exhale, we'll fold forward, coming into a relaxed pigeon. Make sure to rest your forehead on something, whether it's your phones or the mat. Maybe it's even a block if you're up here. That's totally fine. But we want to be able to relax and release. So we want a little bit of support for our head. And then slowly begin to find stillness here. And lose it. And we'll be here for five breaths. On the next breath, we'll come back up. And now we're going, if you have that block, go ahead and remove the block. And we're going to bring our weight onto that right hip. Swing the left foot up and around. Preparing for a twist. So your left ankle is in line with your right knee. You're sitting evenly on both of your hips. If this is uncomfortable, you can always straighten out that right leg to find uh, more evenness underneath your sit bones, okay? So your, your right leg is either extended or it's still bent. Whatever feels good to you. Both are great. Okay, so inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhale, twist, being the right hand behind you. Left hand might come, or your left elbow on your right knee. No, left elbow is on the left knee. <laughs> Okay, but we're looking back behind you, finding that choice. Inhale, finding the length, standing up tall, sitting up tall. Exhale, twist towards the right. Two more breaths here. Release, coming into a counter twist. Go ahead and bring both hands to the left side and just take a nice little gentle bow. Wonderful. So now we're going to bring the left foot to the inside of the right foot, preparing for Johnny Shasta. 
So sitting up tall, that left foot is pressing into the right thigh. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, folding forward. Your hands can be on your thigh, on your shin, or underneath your foot. Really reaching your heart forward, looking at your big toe. Almost cat like with the or cow like with the spine. Pinching your sit bones out so you can find a straighter spine. One more breath here. With the flat spine, we'll come back up. This time we'll bring the right hand to your left knee. Inhale, reach your left arm up. And then begin to reach up and over towards that right foot. So opening up your heart here. We don't want to collapse down. The goal is to open up and feel the stretch on your left side body. Maybe you're looking at your left elbow. Really breathing into that left side body. And inhale, coming back up, place your left palm behind you. Inhale, reach your hips up. Bring that right hand up and back, stretching, stretching back, pressing into your right foot. Nice big inhale. And on the exhale, sink your hips back and down. We'll come through. Hands and knees, sit, reach your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. How, how, how. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. The next inhale, reach your left leg high. Exhale, bend into the knee, pulling your heel towards your glutes. Inhale, come all the way forward, pigeon. Left knee to the left wrist. Extend that right leg long. Once again, checking there's no sickle in your foot. Extending it out straight behind you. And flexing into that left foot. Finding your proud pigeon, sitting up tall, looking forward, active legs. And on the exhale, go ahead and release forward. Once again, you want to find a place for your forehead, whether it's on your hands, on a block, or on the mat. You want to think about reaching out, taking up space. And take five breaths here. Plant your hands into the mirror. We're going to bring our weight onto that left hip. Bring that right foot up and around. 
ankle next to the right knee, sitting up tall. Again, if this feels like too much for you, you can always extend that left foot out long, bringing your knee in or your inkling towards your left knee. Sitting up tall, making sure you have even weight on both hips. Inhale, reaching up. On the exhale, we'll twist. Bring that right hand to the left knee, left hand behind you, look behind you. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist. Two more breaths here. Now we'll take a counter twist, bring both hands towards the right side, take a little bow, and release. We'll bring the right foot to the inside of the left knee for Janu Shirasana. Sitting up tall, once again, weight is even on both hips. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding forward. We want to reach our heart towards our shin and look at the big toe. Rather than rounding into the spine, we're trying to find a straight spine, a flat spine. Get deeper in our folds. Becoming aware of your thoughts in these slower postures. Are you still present with your breath? Are your thoughts kind? Noticing how you talk to yourself is really important. We should always talk to ourselves with love and kindness. We'll come back up with a straight spine, bringing your left hand to your right knee. Inhale, the right arm all the way up, reach up, and then reaching over. Once again, we want to open the heart here, twisting it up towards the sky. Inhale, coming up, place the right hand behind you, reach your hips up, press into the left hand, and reach your left arm back. Nice big inhale, and exhale, sinking your hips back down, we'll crawl through, finding our downward facing dog. It's just the last one of class. Nice big inhale through your nose. Big exhale. One more breath on your own. Your next inhale, look forward, long through the spine. Bring your knees to the mat. Sit down on your knees and we'll bring our feet out in shivers, coming onto our backs. Reaching back, pull both knees into the chest, gently rocking side to side. Bring your arms out to a T and drop your knees towards the left. You can Keep your gaze up towards the scalp or drop your chin to the right. Close down on your right. And just breathe. Feel your shoulders melting into the earth. The 
I'd love for you to think of something that you love about yourself. Bring both things in the back to the center, gently rocking side to side. Once again, bring both arms out to the side like a big T. And drop your knees towards the right. Then you can keep your gaze off towards the sky or drop your chin towards the left. Feeling your shoulders on the ground, close down your eyes. If you'd like to, you can think of something that you're proud of yourself for. Bring both knees back to center. Give yourself a nice big hug. Squeezing your knees to your chest. Bring you off, rocking side to side. Now we're going to roll ourselves into a little ball. So wrap your elbows around your knees. Bring your nose to your knees. Squeeze everything in towards the center. See if you can find stillness in this little ball. First five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and release. Let your legs go out long. Feet splay out towards the side. Bring your hands by your hips. Palms face up. Maybe you bring your shoulders underneath you. Close down your eyes. Shavasana. There's nothing left to do except to find stillness in the body and in the mind. I'll let you know when it's time to wake up. Begin to take three breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth.
gently wiggle your toes and your fingers. Roll out your wrists and your ankles. Drop your chin from spine to side. Breaking up the body. Reach your arms up over the head. Bring your toes to touch. Lift your spine off the mat for a nice good morning stretch. Ah. Bring your knee up into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Can you love yourself? Then you're great. Use one arm as a pillow. Curling onto your circuit. I'd like to take a moment to thank Mother Earth for all that she produces. If there's any other gratitudes you would like to take, I offer you to do that now. When you're ready, we'll come into a comfortable seat. Sitting up tall, reaching your head up high. Bring your hands to heart center. We'll close out class with a community breath and an ohm. Nice big inhale through the nose. Big exhale, sigh it out. Big inhale. Oh. Bring your hands to third eye center. Enlighten now. Thank you so much for flowing with me. Namaste. Once again, I'm Nicole from Chill Into Nature. Um, yeah, if you like this class, please subscribe. There's a new class every single week, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.